precision in low pressure carburizing. This is something for today. Let's go. Where we are today and what you produce here? Welcome at Vuzatem. Uh, we are a manufacturer of fuel injector nozzles, elements that are responsible for spraying the fuel into a combustion cham chamber of an engine. Okay. It means that you produce for automotive only or how it is? Mostly automotive, but uh, not only. We also produce injector nozzles for uh, railroad solutions uh, and uh, except of injector nozzles or also some other elements of uh, fuel systems in engines. Okay, I understand. Passenger cars, but also the heavier, heavier vehicles. Uh, yes, uh, that's right, but mostly passenger cars and uh, uh, small trucks. So, Good. Uh, and speaking about where we are, where we are exactly uh, right Well, now. this is the hall of uh, uh, heat treatment, uh, where all the magic happens, uh, uh, turning soft steel into yes. uh, resilient uh, and uh, tough material. And about this place? If I hear heat treatment, what does it mean? What kind of technologies? Uh, well, the most important is uh, quenching and tempering, okay. uh, where we uh, use uh, martensitic transformation uh, to uh, change the structure of the steel uh, from uh, uh, soft material, uh, good for machining, Okay. Uh, so into hard material uh, that can withstand uh, requirements of the environment in which uh, this element uh, works. Perfect. And any thermochemical process? Uh, well, we use uh, two of those, uh, uh, nitriding and carburizing. And uh, both of those uh, create uh, uh, a diffusion uh, uh, case uh, that allows us to produce a very high uh, hardness on the surface that gradually uh, changes, uh, maintaining a soft core of the material. Yeah, perfect, because this is the case for today. I mean, the customer success story about carburizing, in fact, low pressure carburizing. So let's start the next episode about precision, low pressure carburizing. Piotr, you are today the expert related to low pressure carburizing, heat treatment, thermochemical processes. Piotr Pavlov from WZM. If you can say why the precision in your components is so important? Uh, well, in uh, carburizing, in carburizing. Carburizi. Yes, uh, this is because uh, uh, harsh uh, uh, conditions in the fuel combustion chamber, yeah. and uh, these are getting more and more uh, difficult uh, uh, for the part to withstand. This is because uh, uh, vehicle emission standards are being more and more restrictive, okay. and uh, this requires more efficient uh, combustion on the, of the fuel. Uh, to uh, achieve that, uh, the uh, particles of fuel uh, in the chamber needs to be more atomized, uh, much okay. smaller. And uh, this can be only achieved by uh, imp improving uh, the pressure inside. Yes, yes. Uh, by uh, improving the pressure. So uh, the pressure before uh, were in the range of uh, 1200 bars, uh, then 1600 bars. Uh, now it's uh, in the range of 2,000 bars, and in the newest uh, uh, in the newest systems, it can reach two and a half uh, and uh, thousand bars uh, and even more. Good. So summarizing, having more efficient combustion, more efficient, I mean, and uh, fuel uh, saving, we need to increase the pressure inside the fuel injection nozzle. It yes. means mechanical properties must be better. Okay? Yes, uh, the mechanical properties uh, have to be top and uh, the precision of uh, carburized layers uh, uh, need to, uh, has very small room for oh, error. Yes. Okay. We have a very thin uh, uh, cross section, only one millimeter uh, thick, uh, and we need to carburize it uh, from both ends, uh, uh, maintaining soft core in the inside. Okay. And sorry for that, but maybe you will hear today many questions why. Why this? High pressure is so important for fuel injection nozzle. Uh, well, this is because of the Euro 6, Euro 7 norms uh, for engines. Uh, these norms uh, are more and more restrictive. Yes. Uh, so so to more, every car needs to be more uh, economical. Yes, yes uh, uh, because of economy and ecology. And environment friendly. Uh, yes, uh, we need to have a more efficient so you are responsible uh, to maintain these uh, parameters. Yes. Uh, well, we are, 
Well, not, not exactly, because uh, uh, we are producing nozzles for the engine that someone else uh, designed. Yes, I understand. Uh, we're responsible for uh, uh, maintaining a working uh, element for that engine. Uh, and uh, uh, this element uh, needs to be very tough and very hard. Yes, but I can understand that, uh, let's say, in the past, when there was no uh, high restriction in terms of efficiency and ecology, the pressure inside the fuel injection nozzle was yes, uh, uh, lower, was much, much lower. Yes, exactly. now it's higher. And what does what does what the it create? The pressure is higher because uh, uh, to ensure good uh, uh, fuel combustion efficiency, uh -huh. uh, we need to uh, produce uh, uh, smaller particles of fuel in the combustion chamber. Uh, and to do that, we need to increase the pressure inside the nozzle. Okay, so let's say we have even better or smaller grain spray. Yes, exactly. In the fuel combustion. Yes. It mean it impacts more atomized. More atomized and impact on efficiency, and of course ecology. We can burn with le more efficiently the fuel. Yes, exactly. So we have an engine that consumes less fuel, uh, okay. having uh, high power. Uh, but in the same time, uh, we need to make the nozzle much more uh, resilient. Good. So, how does it impact on the product from the carburizing point of view? The higher, let's say, norms related to pressure? Okay, so uh, first of all, our uh, uh, safety margin is getting lower. So, we uh, have uh, less uh, room for any errors. Okay. Uh, all, everything that we produce uh, needs to be precisely on point uh, with the design requirements. So the, the biggest precision is related to which parameter? If we talk about carburizing, uh, we have you know, surface hardness, effective case well, depth. In, 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 in this case, uh, we have uh, two parameters okay. uh, that are mo most important for us. Uh, the effective case depth yes. uh, of carburized what's material. The, the typical range? Uh, well, I cannot tell you exactly okay. because, uh, uh, but it's a fraction of a millimeter. Okay. Good. So, so we, you very much uh, focus on the effective case depth. This is parameter number one. And yes. The second? And uh, the second is the hardness profile of the case. Uh, because uh, uh, the material will be very precisely manufactured and uh, grinded after carburizing, ah, okay. uh, and uh, we need uh, exact uh, hardness at the surface uh, to be maintained after that uh, treatment. Okay, because in today's subject we talk about precision. And, yes. Uh, having in mind surface hardness, effective case Where is the precision? What do you mean? Same okay, same uh, same like I said before, we uh, have a cross section of only around one millimeter, mm -hmm. uh, and we're carburizing in it from uh, both surfaces, yes. from inside and uh, from the outside. Uh, and we still want to uh, maintain uh, uncarburized core uh, on this yes. section. So we need to be very precise uh, to be a to. Uh, not uh, create too thick uh, carburized layer, uh, carburized case. What, what, and, I under, uh, what I understand, the parts you carburize, then the nozzle itself, it's a complicated shape because it's a, a deep blind hole inside. Yes. Uh, in, 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 yes. in the carburizing uh, distribution or uniformity, this is, let's say, very Yes, high from level. carburizing process point of view, this is a very complicated yes. uh, element. Uh, because uh, we want uh, the same uh, case parameters uh, on the outside yes. and inside uh, the bottom of a very low diameter hole. We have a blind hole that yes. uh, is only four millimeters uh, in I the diameter that. and is several centimeters long. So okay. uh, this is uh, very problematic for traditional uh, gas carburizing. I heard it was problematic, not only for, for your company, but for other industries also producing components with uh, complicated shapes, especially with uh, blank holes inside. Yes. And so what is the technology that can improve the uniformity within one element, inside and outside? Uh, well, for us, uh, LPC, low pressure carburizing, was uh, very effective. Mm -hmm. uh, before, when we were using uh, uh, gas carburizing with uh, uh, endothermic atmosphere. Okay. Uh, we could have 
even more than 50% change between case uh, effective case death uh, on the inside and on the outside uh, of the element. And uh, now we I observe no the change type at all. Of engine, it was acceptable. Yes. Uh, uh, well, maybe north. not not type of engine, uh, the old type of production system, uh, ah, okay. uh, much they, bigger. Uh, better uniformities. Uh, yeah. In general, yes, we have a much better uniformity. So what is the uniformity today? Uh, well, right now, uh, the standard deviation of the uh, effective case depth is in the range uh, of 18, 20 microns, and 18, both 20? inside and outside. So, in the end of the hole and outside of elements, not more than 18 microns. Uh, well, Difference. it's a standard deviation. Yes. So. Yeah, standard uh, deviation. so uh, yes. So the change uh, sometimes can be slightly bigger, but yes. uh, the differences that we observe are in the range of uh, uh, measurement error. So uh, we practically have uniform case without uh, uh, thickness difference uh, inside and outside. I like when you mentioned on the beginning about the magical things happening in the kit treatment shop, but this is it can be obtained without any magic, yes? Yeah. Just by the technology, low pressure, this is something we, we know that we work in the pressure in the range between four, five to eight, nine or seven millibar. And this is what we understand low pressure because the, exactly the name. Sometimes vacuum carburizing is maybe not the perfect naming for this technology. Yes. So we talk about low pressure during the carburizing. And when you said about uniformity, we can measure uniformity within one element. But I understand that to keep the quality condition of the production, it has to be also on the full load, every element inside. Yes. How many parts per load do you have? Uh, well, in uh, each uh, heat treatment batch, uh, carburizing batch, we have between one and four thousand elements. For several years, we only test uh, only one element uh, from the batch, from batch. Uh, chosen uh, randomly. Okay. Um, and we haven't noticed uh, any differences. Uh, uh, so it means that re the process repeatability is also on a high yes. level. I understand. It's a relatively small furnace. We have two examples. One is from 1996. And yeah, uh, this is with us for almost 30 years. Uh, the, this is only uh, gas quenching uh, without LPC. Okay, just for hardening. And the second is 2016, dedicated yes. to LPC process. But what I wanted to say is that relatively small chamber, that's for industrial furnace, but small, but very efficient. There's 4,000 components well, very much. Uh, the chamber might be small, but uh, our elements uh, have a very uh, high surface uh, uh, compared to yes. the mass of the element. This is a good point. I understand. I, I have, I've had some discussions before when we try to dedicate the product or technology for one single component, large gear, with very uh, big uh, weight, like five tons or more, but the total surface was re even reduced by the some uh, stop-off uh, phase. In your case, 4,000 components, maybe the weight is not uh, very heavy, but the total yes. surface makes this process more complicated, yes, in terms of and efficiency and uniformity. Yes, exactly. Okay, we have uniformity related to the uh, case depth, and how about uniformity related to some other points like surface hardness or microstructure? Uh, well, uh, uh, observations. Yes, we have uh, uh, first after acquiring this furnace, uh, we started with. Uh, uh, some initial parameters uh, uh, for the case depth and uh, hardness profile. Uh, and uh, after that, we did, uh, uh, we did fatigue tests uh, of the uh, uh, finished element. Okay. Uh, and we were not satisfied because uh, it was uh, below what uh, uh, original manufacturers offered. And uh, after that, we uh, changed the parameters. Uh, uh, we completely eliminated carbides uh, uh, from the uh, carburized case. Okay. Uh, and uh, in the fatigue so test, fa no, no fatigue test results uh, is much improved. So no uh, carbides is a net, and no carbides at all in the microphone. No carbides uh, in carburized case at all. Good. And still. Uh, 
required hardness profile uh, is maintained. From the perspective of equipment efficiency, do you make this process as a one uh, complete set of uh, heating, pulverizing, quenching, hardening, and tempering, or it's uh, some uh, something in between? Well, it's uh, it's usually only one uh, process, but uh, this depends uh, on the steel grade that we are carburizing. Uh, some of the grades uh, require uh, sub-zero treatment. Yes. Uh, so then we finish the process uh, after quenching, uh, go to sub-zero and tempering is in another furnace. Okay, so if you can summarize one main element or one main uh, factor that you can achieve thanks to low pressure carburizing, it will be? Uh, what, what? I cannot summarize you yeah. this in one because uh, there are two of those. Okay. Uh, first will be uh, quality, precision, and repeatability okay. uh, of uh, the process uh, uh, results. And the second one would be economy. Uh, before uh, economy also for, for your production, eh? the cost of the... Yes, yes the, ta the, ta the time, uh, the, time? Usage, the process time, uh, the amount of uh, uh, gas and electricity that gas is used. And carburizing gas and quenching gas. Yes, yeah? uh, uh, well, uh, before it was quenched in oil, uh, yeah. but uh, uh, the usage of oil was also high. Uh, but this is much more economical. Uh, for example, uh, only carburizing uh, time uh, without the heating and quenching, only carburizing. Uh, before it was several, several hours, uh -huh. and now it's several minutes. Okay. Uh, so the process is... Uh, Not comparable even. Yes, okay. so the process is uh, uh, much quicker and okay. uh, uses uh, uh, much, much less uh, gas and energy. Perfect. Piotr, thank you so much. For me, it's uh, very great to hear your practical and personal experience about the uh, uniformity and why it's so important. I know that you have much more to share and uh, for today's subject we have one element. I hope maybe we will talk again one day. So thank you. You're welcome at Vuzeta many times. Yes, thank you very much for today's discussion and for all of you we invite you to follow our Secotalks channel on YouTube. Thank you so much.